Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, we'll be comparing two of the best content creation platforms as we'll be comparing Canva versus Pictory. Both platforms are highly rated and is perfect for content marketers, but both platforms offer different features and have different pricing. So in this tutorial, we'll be comparing the pricing. We'll also be comparing the features of both Pictory and Canva. So you'll be better suited to know which platform will fill your desired needs. If this sounds good to you, be sure to stick around until the end and also hit the like button. And I will also be providing a link in the description that you can use to sign up to either one of these platforms. The first thing we will be looking at is their pricing. So let's look at Pictory pricing. With Pictory, you can sign up for a free trial as you can see right here. They do offer a free trial. But on their free trial, you'll be limited to three video projects and you cannot make the videos longer than 10 minutes. So while you do get access to their platform, you are limited. Now, if you were to go onto their paid plan, it starts off at $19 per month. And with the $19 per month plan, you'll be able to create 30 videos per month and you will get most of their features. But if you are serious about content creation, I would definitely recommend that you go to the professional plan. The professional plan is for $39 per month. You'll be able to create 60 videos and you'll also get access to their collaboration with 11 Labs. And 11 Labs, in case you don't know, is one of the best realistic AI voice platforms. And you can see you'll be able to create up to 120 minutes of realistic AI voiceovers. And if you want to go up to their Teams plan, which is $99 per month, you can also do that. And as I said earlier, I will be providing a link in the description that you can use to sign up. Now let's check out the pricing for Canva. Canva also provides you with a free plan. And on this free plan compared to Pictory, you will have a lot more features. As with Canva free plan, if you are not looking for a lot of stuff, you can continue with their free plan forever. As you'll get access to over 250,000 free templates, you will get hundreds if not thousands of different design types. You will get access to over a million free photos and graphics that you can use. And you'll get to use their AI platform plus so much more. But if you were to go onto their paid plan, it starts off at $54 per year and $130 for a year if you want to add a team up. Now that we have looked on the pricing, let's talk about it. With both platforms, you'll be able to sign up for free. But with Canva, you'll get access to more features compared to Pictory. One of the reasons why you'll get access to more features is Canva is a larger platform with a lot more features. So for instance, if you want to do email marketing or anything at all, you can do that on Canva. While if we were to compare that to Pictory, Pictory is mainly for content creation. And when I say content creation, I mean video content creation. For instance, once you signed up to Pictory, you will be redirected to this dashboard. Once on this dashboard, you will have four options. You can either turn scripts to video which is the most popular or most used feature of Pictory, or you can convert an article to a video by simply pasting the URL right here. You can also edit video using text, meaning you can add subtitles automatically, or you can cut out portions of the video or create video highlights. And last but not least, you can do videos, visuals to video better yet. And this will help you to create a slideshow video if you want. For this example, I will be using script video. So you can tap on proceed right here. And I will tap on one of my recent projects for time keeping. So I'll tap on test. Once you have tapped on it, you will be redirected to a page like this. And all you would need to do is simply paste in your script or type in your script. 
For this tutorial, I went on to ChatGPT and I asked it to write a short story describing the history of Jamaica. All I did was simply copy it right there. Then I went on to Pictory, I tap on Paste from Clipboard to this page. And on this page, you'll see numerous video templates that you can choose from. And this is basically how your video, meaning how the text would look and how the basic video layout would look. So all you need to do is scroll down. Once you have found one of your liking, you can simply tap, tap on the option that you would like to use. So let's say, for example, I would like to use the lemon template. I'll simply tap on it to be redirected to this page. Once on this page, you can see the different scenes. All you'll need to do is scroll down. And from there, you can make any changes you want by simply tapping on the scene. If you'd like to edit the script, you can do that by going over to the left hand menu option. If you would like to change the background image, you can also do that for any scene. All you'll need to do is tap on visuals. You can tap on the plus if you'd like to add another scene. And you can also add audio or voiceover if you want by simply tapping on audio right here. And if you were to go up to their paid plan from there, you'll be able to use one of the realistic AI voices from 11lab to do a voiceover for your video. If you would like to record a voiceover, you can also do that on this platform. Once it is finished, all you'll need to do now is tap on download. Then you could select video and you would be able to download your video. Now, once you are signed up, this is how the Canva dashboard will look. And you can see the different options right here. You can select design spotlight. And from there, you can create visual documents, for example, presentations, whiteboards, PDFs. You can also use it to create photos and videos. But what I also like about Canva and why it is beginner friendly is all you need to do is simply tap on the search bar right here and you can search anything. So let's say, for example, you would like to create TikTok videos. Then from there, you can tap on it or you can be specific and type in TikTok videos and you're going to be provided with numerous templates that you can choose from. So this is one of the main reasons why Canva is so popular as it is quite easy to use and it provides you with template for practically any type of content that you would like to create online. Now, if you would like to access some of Canva's main features, for example, their AI feature or so on, all you'll need to do is tap on the three dashes in the top left hand corner. Let's go back to the main page right here. Once you have tapped on the three dashes, you will be on the. Now, if you'd like to access some of their main features, we can go back to their main page tap on Canva. Then we're going to tap on app new option from here you will see new ones so for instance you can use canva for content planner and this basic tend to be released on different social media platforms also if you would like to create mockups you that by tapping on mockups if you would like to create product photos you can do photos Canva also provides you with an app that you can use if you would like to create talking ed videos, meaning if you would like to use their AI platform to create a talking ed, you can do that using Canva. So in summary, if you are looking, you go with Pictory. If you are looking for a platform that will allow you to create numerous form of thumbnail, whether that be an infographic, whether that be a video, not specific in any one of these sections, then you can go with Canva. So both platforms are highly rated. And to be honest, I would recommend that you get both platforms as both will come in handy in your video or your content creation online. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.